Hey there guys, what's going on? So, I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of videos that I've done here, which in some particular order should be the excellent split single, the fabulous Damon Alburn, and the newly intriguing Connor Oberst with uh, Fragmented World, um, Everyday Robots, and Upside Down Mountain, respectively. But now we get to the last one. And obviously, I was very excited for the Connor Oberst review, or the unboxing for that one, rather. And uh, being able to get into Upside Down Mountain and being able to play that pretty quick and the great artwork with all of it. But what we're about to get to right here is exciting to me for so many reasons. Uh, first of all being that his last release was one of my top five, I believe it was top five, I think top five releases, at the very least top five release, for 2012. He was my favorite newly discovered artist for yours truly for that year. His back catalog presented a fantastic merge of melodic, pop rock, downright filthy punk, slamming punk, just crankers, everything in between from his old days in the 80s all the way up through his solo career. Now, so many great moments and things to be fixated on and to focus on that really brought me into a genre that I had no real background with. And it really, his music, because of its melodic undertones and its melodic backbone and its structure with songwriting and his voice itself, really introduced me to something I wasn't so accustomed to or so familiar with. And last year, I was actually able to see him on a tour for his previous record, uh, of which I'm hoping to follow that up this year for this, uh, for this new one. And maneuvered me into a position, once I realized that it was soon to be on the way, where I could be so excited about it to have such a big fan moment, to be so excited to, oh, I've got to pre-order it and do the whole thing and get it as soon as possible. And considering what came along with it, just the really cool stuff all about it, this, for so many reasons, is my favorite of the day. Hence why Best for Last, I'm so unbelievably excited to not only crack into this one, but to also have it several days early, which, if ever you've seen any of the unboxings I've done or things when I talk about vinyl, that's like one of the most special, cool feelings of pre-ordering early, is getting a record early and really feeling like you're ahead of everybody else, other than like those select few, you know, who have done the same, that select bunch, and they've gotten the record early too, and it's like, oh, you know, we're, we're it's like a select club, you feel really special for a couple of days. So, I of course could not hesitate, as soon as I got it this afternoon, I had to get in here, make videos for all these, and especially make a video for this. And I, of course, mean, although the title above will give it away a little bit, Bob Mould with his new album, Beauty and Ruin. I've been pretty busy this week. I've been kind of going back and forth. been a lot of uh, traveling back and up and down and such. So I haven't had uh, a hell of a lengthy opportunity to really explore into the whole album yet. I've heard it through maybe a couple times thus far. Um, if you, it, I, as far as I know, until release date, it'll be available on uh, Pitchfork Advance to go listen to the stream. Uh, it can be found out in the world if you're so inclined as well. But as I always like to make sure that I urge when I say that, if you are going to do that, uh, please do support the artist, uh, buy their stuff, and you know get their music, especially in great formats like these. But well, actually. I'm, I'm a little all over the place here, as I often get to be with getting excited about these things. We'll actually talk about the bonuses to go along with it. And I hands down got to give it to Merge Records after my little complaint in the Connor Oberst video about their kind of underwhelming bonus. Uh, I got to give it up to Merge for including a bunch of cool little goodies with their stuff. They threw in a great little Merge Records sticker. 
a great new uh, compilation, a sampler, Merge Records sampler for spring, summer of 2014. They also included a very awesome and unfortunately slightly crinkled, I don't know how that happened already, but as I just got out of the box this afternoon, uh, poster for Bob Mould with Beauty and Ruin, which will be going up probably on this back open wall here very, very shortly. Maybe we'll just have Bob for all future videos, just kind of looking over my shoulder, judging everything that I do, as everybody does on the internet in all of my future videos still to come. So, all the stuff that I've been talking about, let's blend it down to one thing, let's get into unboxing Beauty and Ruin here. Uh, I, like I said, I've heard it a couple times, it's a great record, it sounds awesome, it's, it's heavy, it's melodic, it's, it's a great mixture of his Husker Du thrash with his melodic style of sugar, with the more muted undertones of his later solo career really coming through at times and just blasting your face off in other ones. So again, really impressed with this. I'm really hoping and praying that I can get a review out to you guys before release day next week. Uh, it would just be such a good thing for my channel. It would get me so excited. So keep it here, fingers crossed, hoping to get that done. But for right now, uh, we'll get to the front of the packaging here, which I think is awesome. We've got the sticker up there in the corner. I don't know if that's legible on camera with the light and everything. Bob Mould, Beauty and Ruin, A Lifetime of Emotion in 36 Minutes. Limited edition yellow vinyl, full download included on Merge Records. Really hoping that sticker comes off because I would just love to stick it right in that corner and keep it there forever. Um, what I can tell you about the 36 minutes of emotion, or the, the lifetime of emotion in 36 minutes, is apparently this, uh, this record is sort of a concept of a period of Bob's time spent, and I can't think of the period it was exactly, but sometime, I, I want to say it was towards the end of the Silver Age tour, and in the midst of all that, it was like, I want to say it was October of like of 2012 or uh, something in there in that section where uh, his father died. And of course, Bob is older anyway, so it's not an entirely unexpected thing, but that started a chain reaction of events across the span of like a year of time, 10 months, a year of time. I read this in an interview he did and sort of going through that emotion of, you know, sadness and death and acceptance and everything that occurs in this span of block of time in a year and as he put it, sort of arranging uh, the snapshots into an order of, you know, this is what happened, this is, this is the beginning, this is the end, and this is the epilogue. So it has sort of a concept in nature. I don't think I showed this. This is the, the back cover here with all of the songs on it, which which songs are on which side. So far, I'm already really liking uh, Low Season. Uh, Little Glass Pill is awesome. Of course, the singles, I Don't Know You Anymore and Hey Mr. Gray. Uh, Forgiveness, Let the Beauty Be, The War, uh, Nemesis Are Laughing. Really into that so far. Inside here, we have some photos. And excellent, we have some lyrics here because if you've listened to Bob for any extended period of time, very hard to get the lyric stuff. Fix it, I'm out of inspiration, time to break it in a million little pieces. The magic and depression, it settles in like cancer of the soul. Turn the corner as I turned a phrase and ran into a wall of sound. Let me know if you need a hand, I'll be around. Really cool stuff here. Let's see if we can get that all into the shot. Really neat. Um, a thousand pieces of my heart swept across a weathered floor and no idea how to start solving puzzles from before. Maybe in time this confusion will fade, but every single error we made is right there on display. The war. and all these songs I write for you, they tear me up. It's not hard to do. Listen to my voice, it's the only weapon I kept from the war. And I can soothe every ailment you endure, and I can see into the future most assured. I don't have a choice, it's the only life I know after the war. Little glass pill, low season. There we go, get those in there in the shot. 
really excellent lyrics. I had a vision of one last try. What does it mean to me? All I saw was a tear-stained face staring back so silently. I heard a voice travel over the line telling me tales filled with riddles and rhymes that I don't recognize. Cool. Cool stuff right there. Great to have lyrics. Love a good lyric sheet with all that. Get to know what is happening. And, dear honored listener, uh, there is a digital download card there, which uh, I may either pass on or keep if it comes down to it. I don't, I don't know yet, but that's... I don't even know if that'll be available until release day. Sometimes uh, labels do make that a, uh, uh, a peculiarity, or they do like to, you know make it a thing that it's not available until the day of release, but we'll, I, I don't, I can't remember if that applies to Merge or not. One last little bonus I don't want to forget to talk about, it's, it's, it's literally quite little, but I want to make sure to mention it. When I first opened the box earlier, I looked over, or I looked right down at it, and the first thing that I saw propped very neatly right in the, in the center was this, oh, there we go, can we get it, tilt it just the right, no, 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 still not right, uh, is this, this very cool little miniaturized Bob Mold Beauty and Ruin uh, button for your coat, your sweater, your what have you, I, I didn't make it a habit of actually putting buttons on that, but I loved it so much, I just had to immediately go and just stick it on there. And that is it. That is it for my unboxing of Bob Mold with Beauty and Ruin. It is due out June 3rd. Like I said, fingers crossed. I'm really hoping to, uh, to get a review out before then with everything that I have available. And like I said, it's available out there digitally in the world, but support the artist. And there will be... I have a little bit more faith in this one, uh, a couple of bonus songs up, probably a uh, little glass pill and let the beauty be, and you will see those up on this channel as well. So really excited about this, i uh, going to end the video here because it is time to go and listen to this beautiful thing, and I will let you guys uh, go and enjoy the music for yourselves, and thank you for watching this video, plenty more soon to come. So make sure to keep it here. And because I almost forgot to include it in the rest of the video, which I will chalk up to excitement rather than anything else, like, you know, plain old forgetting, to show you the actual vinyl, because as I said, it was on yellow vinyl, we have it here, not in transparent form, but in solid yellow, which looks very, very nice, and hopefully will play just as nicely, and has beauty and on one side, and ruin on the other, as with the cover. And uh, that is your yellow vinyl special right here. So don't think I forgot about showing you the interior. It was just a little bit of uh, last minute planning. So keep it here.